the boot left to right by Scanlon. One yard deep in the end zone. Johnson angles to his left across the five and the ten. Smothered by Dominique Long, who's making a name for himself on special teams this year. It's a lot of time and effort that you're going to have to put in. But if you just manage your time and you have a set schedule and you plan everything out, it's very possible to achieve your goals. My family life, I have one older brother. He's three years older than me. He was kind of like the example in my life. Football-wise especially, I just watched him do camps and stuff, and I wanted to perform up to the level that he performed to. And my brother played football for both Kentucky and Akron. My father played basketball for Carnegie Mellon. My grandfather on my mother's side played for the Bengals and the Oilers for a little bit. I always wanted to compete on the biggest level and then obviously carry that family name as well. When I was growing up, I kind of just took everything like competitively. So even in elementary school, I would take like my academics very competitively. And then I just was grew very fond of math and science. And so then over time, I started to learn about like engineering and everything and just being able to be creative with problem solving. And it just kind of grasped my attention immediately. <laughs> Played football, basketball, and I ran track. Track was a very big influence. I honestly thought that I was going to go to college more for track than football. I love the idea of competing. I love the idea of obviously like getting first place and winning awards. Definitely believe that playing multiple sports definitely helps you grow as a versatile athlete. You're using different muscles. You gotta learn how to stretch and just be able to like use your body in certain ways. And track helped me learn how to condition myself, push myself, and then just learn how to run. So I carry those aspects into football. And then I just try to like compete the same way that I did in track. The junior year, I started going to camps and colleges started noticing my skills, my assets and everything. I just competed my butt off and I just did everything I could to get an offer. And then when it came in, the dream kind of turned into a reality, like this was very possible. It was like other schools that I went to before and then I told them I wanted to be an engineer. And then a lot of them actually told me like, yeah, we probably won't allow you to pursue engineering and do football at the same time because it's like too much which I understand, but at the same time, I wasn't about to let anybody, you know, stop me from pursuing my dreams. Actually, in these recent years, I believe we have more younger guys trying engineering and football as well. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's compete, let's go, compete. In my earlier years, I definitely lost a lot of sleep. Like, that was the one thing I sacrificed. I would stay up studying to like, let's say one, two a.m. and now I have to like wake up at five to go to the 6 a.m. lifts. That was one of the things that I struggled with a lot, like just not knowing the importance of sleep and just being able to like manage my time in a sense to where I could still like sleep and study what I felt like I needed to study, do my homework and obviously play football. You're not gonna have as much free time as other majors because it just is a lot of homework, it's a lot of studying, it's a lot of time and effort that you're gonna have to put in. A lot of guys try to come here and say they're going to do that and uh, don't necessarily succeed and they change their major. How he was raised in his own household, he knew how to organize and put everything, all his priorities in place. And so he knew when to go to work out. He had it all you know, timed out and mapped out. Our academic support staff is uh, actually very amazing. I've had tutors, I've had learning assistants. They were always there for me when I had questions to ask or if I just needed like an adjustment to be done, they always to the best of their abilities that helped me out. Dom, you know, has always taken his academics very, very seriously. I don't think he's ever gotten below a 3.0 since he's been here at, at Michigan State. I might be uh, doing him a disservice, maybe no lower than a 3.5. He really puts a lot of hard work into it. He takes it serious. He knows why he's here, he's on a purpose and he's fulfilling that purpose. And uh, it's, it's great to see a young man that diligent about what he wants to do in life. Uh, he's walking it out and, and doing it the right way. I'm planning to graduate in May. As of now, I just kind of want to explore my options. It's a lot of different options I'm starting to learn that you could, you know, different paths you could take with engineering. So for now, I have an internship with ACOM and that's going really good right now. Dom has been nominated for the William B. Campbell Award, the Academic Heisman, which is an awesome, I think, awesome, awesome nomination. Now it's time to go get it. But we know he's gonna get it done academically off the field. I think that's a great honor, 
uh, to be able to show his kids one day, you know, him talking to his kids, say, you need to go to school, you need to get good grades. He can actually show them he did that and got it done. And so uh, I know his parents are extremely proud of him uh, and they should be. And just being nominated is a, is a great honor, but winning it is the ultimate, ultimate goal. And uh, we're gonna push him to try to get that done. He takes everything that he does very seriously. And, he, and he's trying to perform to the best of his ability. And he already has a lot of natural athletic ability and he's built upon that. So when you do that, if you're that diligent of a person like he is, you can't help but to succeed here. He's gonna have a breakout year uh, because he's put so much hard work into it. It can't help but to manifest on game day. Tell y'all show people what you're working with. Let's go. That's all you, that's all you. Get it up, 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 get it up. Yes, sir. Yes, I want to be the best athlete on the field, and I want that to be unquestionable. My goal is to be the best that I can be personally, like the best athlete, you know, in the nation, because I feel like if you don't have big goals, then what's the point of being out there? And then I want my team to be the best team in the nation as well. So I'm going to do my part to not only help myself, but help everybody around me. And I hope that everybody on my team has that same attitude. Just very grateful for the community that I've had. I've always felt like during those times, academically and schoolwork, like I was just trying to manage everything. I'm just very glad that I had my brother to support me. I had my mom, my father. I have friends from back home that I could call. And I have friends up here that I could just like hang out with just to relieve the stress. In high school or years before, I would never expect myself to kind of deal with the load that I've had to deal, like academically and athletically. I always remember Calc 4, I needed a 99% on the final of the four points I class, and I got 100. So that would always just stick in my head, like, if you really put the time and effort into it, like, anything is actually very achievable. And it's blocked. They came after him. The ball squirts loose. Scramble for it at the 25-yard line. Dominique Long. They made that look easy getting back there. Just being able to manage the ups and downs with everything. Growth is like the main word to explain it. No matter how hard things get, just continue to believe in yourself, continue to push through. Sometimes you're gonna wanna give up. Sometimes you're gonna think like, oh, it's not really worth it. But now that I'm looking towards the end, I definitely am very thankful that I just kept pushing through.